Commentary now as we get Reuters' breaking views take on the French and Greek elections. How Francois, a long time for learning on the job, will be limited, why Greece is down but not yet out of the euro, and what a euro growth compact should contain. With me now is Breaking Views assistant editor Robert Cole. Hi, yeah. Robert, good to see you. Um, Hollande, he's promised to create jobs, uh, focus more on growth, less on austerity, so surely that's good news, right? Well, um, if it's the right kind of measures to promote growth, then yes. But I think that we all have to acknowledge that you can't just get growth out of thin air. Um, I mean, you said, you said that uh, uh, Francois Hollande's uh, um, period for learning was limited. I think it's practically non-existent, actually. He's got to uh, uh, demonstrate that he has what it takes right from the off. And I think there are at least, in, certainly in the economics sphere, business sphere, there are at least three challenges he has, and he has to go at them all very quickly. The first is at, at, at home, and he has to convince, if you like, the French business and financial community that he is a, a safe pair of hands. If he wants to change things, fine, but he has to do that in a way which is credible. Secondly, and certainly no less importantly, probably maybe even arguably more importantly, he's got to get the uh, 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 relationship with, with Germany uh, sorted out. Um, I think Merkel actually endorsed uh, Sarkozy, didn't she? So there's a clear, clear tension there already which have to be ironed out. And I think, you know, they're all grown up, so they, they should be able to do that, but that's key. And then, you know, we're going to come talk about the Greek elections, but that's a really, really um, a difficult decision. And uh, it's one which Francois Hollande might think is none of his business, but he, as one of the biggest um, uh, Eurozone uh, countries, he, he really has to get into that European debate in, which, in a way which uh, we can get some resolution to the Greek problem. Too. You're talking about um, a safe pair of hands. Now, it's only a few hours into his presidency, but French bond yields today um, are falling. They're within a whisker of the lowest in six months. That suggests that all those fears about socialist tax and spend somewhat um, unfounded, and uh, he seems to be, um, so far, a safe pair of hands. Well, uh, a, a few hours of trading uh, um, shouldn't be taken too far. But I think you're, you're right to point out that there is a, a very, or a quite credible, uh, optimistic way of looking at this. And yes, um, he wants more growth, and uh, if he gets the right kind of growth, maybe this is a turning point. That, you know, we've, we uh, are, have questioned, I think, in the past uh, how much, aust and we continue to question today, how much austerity is all very well and up to a point is necessary in terms of getting debt down. But austerity won't get us to the future, won't kick, kick the growth, growth start. But I think Francois Hollande, um, that, you know, the market's may be hoping for quite a lot there. Uh, and, you know, he really has to be credible in the, in the kind of growth that um, he wants to spark or the kind of measures he wants to, uh, to take to, to spark growth. OK, now you mentioned Greece there. Of course, um, the elections there were slightly less clear-cut, shall we say. Um, there's talk of increased talk of Greece being forced out of the euro at some point. Um, is that something that you at Breaking Views view as uh, likely? Um, it's certainly a very big risk. I likely would uh, suggest that we thought it was perhaps more than fifty percent, uh, more than fifty percent chance. And I don't, I don't think we're quite there yet. I think one of the brokerage houses has come out this morning, haven't they? Has said that the risk is now seventy-five percent. Villain Boiter's team at City Group. Yeah. Right, um, and uh, clearly it's a mass, um, a massive risk. But I think we uh, are still of the view that yes, it is costly. Yes, there is nothing like a democratic mandate for austerity in, in Greece. In fact, the, if you like, pro-bailout parties um, have only about a third of yeah. the votes, although there's a kicker, isn't there, which gets them up to near a half the number of seats in, in Parliament. So the, there, isn't, there isn't that demo, demo, democratic mandate there. But the costs to Greece of an exit from the euro will be bigger by a factor of several times than the costs um, facing them if, uh, if, if, if they uh, take, take the medicine. I, th I think there's a, there's a very good chance that perhaps some uh, changes will be made to make that medicine a bit easier to take. But I think when it comes down to it, what we might see in Greece is a real focus on the very issues and the focus on the fact that, well, you know, we don't like where we are, but it could be a lot worse if we came out of the euro. So throwing all that together, France, Greece, the eurozone, um, a growth compact, uh, tell us very briefly what that should contain, I presume, more, more spending. 
Well, it's, it's not really about spending, um, actually. It's about um, uh, structural reform. Um, yes, spending will come into it, but I think this is the point where we say, well, Hollande comes in or anybody comes in and just sprays money around and pay rises for everybody and, uh, you know, tax cuts for everybody. Um, that's probably not the kind of thing we're talking about. What we are talking about, yes, there will have to be spending to make sure that the banks are recapitalised and put on a firm footing, but really it's not a question of spending money on them, it's just making sure that they operate properly. Similarly with labour reforms, uh, I mean, we, we, need, we need an easier labour market across Europe. Now, that's going to be very, very difficult for Holland to get, get through because there are short-term fears with labour market reform. But in the longer term, we think that growth will come out, uh, more growth will come out of an easier labour market in important economic point, uh, uh, normal players in the economic, um, European economic community and welfare reform as well. It, you know, we're just paying too much. So it's not really a question of a gro a growth um, being uh, fuelled or uh, by spending, uh, it's a growth which is fuelled by reform. Indeed. Robert, thank you very much. Well, that's all for now. My thanks there to Robert Cole. For more financial insight, don't miss US Breaking Views Monday to Friday at 12.30 Eastern, that's 5.30 London time. I'm Jamie McGeever, this is Reuters.